Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Yeah, and I'm not entirely sure what the consequences is, is, is gonna, uh, I don't know. What's going on guys, back at it again with another Outer Worlds. So where we last left off in the last video, we basically met this dude named Reed, which is the leader, I guess you could say, or the boss of White, uh, White what is this place called, Whitewater? It says up there, I'm not sure what it's called, something water. The place with the moon, oh Edgewater, there you go. He's the leader of Edgewater and basically he's making me... Or asking me to go and talk to this one girl, which I can't pronounce her name. It's like Adeliani or whatever. Uh, and basically try to take her power away so that they can potentially come back and work for him. I think that's a little extreme. And uh, our new companion, Parvati, which she should be right behind me, right there. She was telling me that he's not necessarily a liar, but he's a little bit too harsh and all this other stuff. So... I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to go over there and actually explore and find out what the situation is behind all of that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right. So first things first, we have to go to the exit. Sorry. I'll just be a minute. Uh, if you could You're do me a minute. huge favor and done. smash the like button because I'm very much enjoying this game and you guys' support really is going to help me continue publishing more content. How do I get in this? Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, let's check out the map. Where are we supposed to go? It looks like looks like we're supposed to be around here somewhere. All right, let me see. Okay, so why? Okay, so I think we have to just go around this building. There's something we have to do inside of Edgewater, but first things first, I want to go to that other place and meet Adeliani or whatever. Look at that, bro. That looks sick, dude. It's like magma and stuff going over there into the water. By the way, some of the imagery in this game is freaking stunning. Let's see. It actually looks like we're actually going pretty far into the botanical labs. Oh, wait, no, this is Max. Max is over here. We should, we were supposed to talk to Max first. Is there a way into Edgewater from here? Because I'm not going... I don't think I want to take away the people's power, man. They're not marauders. They're not criminals or anything. They just didn't want to work for this company anymore. All right, let's go back inside. All right, Max, where you at, bro? It was back into the place. I think we need to find a way to get into this building. Okay, right here. Resident, look, it's like a chapel or a church or I've something. Felt weird in here. It's too clean. Really? Clean is a good thing. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's tossball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Interesting you said tossball. I happen to be a tossball mascot. No, but seriously though, that was actually really cool how they interacted with each other. I, I'm, I'm curious to find out whether he would respond differently if I had not brought her with me. That's actually pretty cool. So Parvati wanted me to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. What? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? <laughs> Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Uh, 
fix the GOK cutoff. Yep. Power to the... De yep. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. It troubles me too. Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. Oh, uh, so what would you advise? Wait, what do you think of the group? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? So then what would you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. See, I don't like, I don't really like that. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that, besides marauders? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Oh, that's a good way to get some cash. Let me see. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Yeah, I'll probably check it out, man. I can use the money. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay, so... He really didn't help. He was basically saying the same thing. I gotta go talk to these people, man. These people really are gonna be the ones that are gonna make it or break it for me. Whether or not I side with them or basically turn them over here. I wanna see what their opinions are of... What is this place? Whitewater? I keep calling it Whitewater. Edgewater, there you go. Gotta go to the botanical labs, though. Alrighty. How far do we gotta go? Uh, looks pretty far, actually. Are these little towns and stuff on uh, in route? I'm assuming Edgewater seems pretty big, huh? Oh, you can fast travel. It says near hostels. Does that mean there's bad guys around here? Let me get my pistol since I have ammo for it. I'm kind of nervous, man. I feel like someone's going to pop out at any minute. Marauders? I don't want to... I don't want to fight them. Or maybe I do. Okay, let's let's just go around. We'll, we'll definitely get our, our opportunities to fight with our companions. But for now, I kind of just want to... Oh, look, there's more marauders over there. Man, there's a lot of marauders out here. You can tell this is like an abandoned portion. So basically what I'm getting is... So all of this is still property of Spacer's Choice, right? And these people abandoned work with Spacer's Choice and are living on Spacer's Choice's properties. So in that sense, I can understand why we would basically get them out of there. But in the manner that we're doing it, I'm not sure I like it. Someone killed all these marauders. Can I come in here? Mag pick? Wonder what that is. Okay. Got some loot. Be taking all of this. Thank you very much. Does this mean... Wait, does this mean I'm stealing from someone? I don't know. 
We're almost there though. You know what? I feel like I'm stealing. I'm not I'm not gonna take any of that stuff. It's probably somebody's you know livelihood that I'm taking. Looks like we're here, Botanical Labs. Grace Romero. I like that outfit, dude. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Uh, I'm looking for a DL her. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Maybe me and the other philosophical want to just talk and have a philosophical conversation. Uh, I'm looking for the germo geothermal plant. No, no. Reed said something about former workers living in the wild. Yes. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're going to start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find a deal? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Um. I just got shot into space. <laughs> okay, let's see. You and me both are trying to figure out how to repair my ship. Trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, no not really. I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. You know what? I'll keep an eye out for her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Uh, unless marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of... No, I'm not going to say that. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. I've got questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Well, I mean, you are snooping at that point. You snooped around in her room? A little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Uh... How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Well, we got a lead. Okay, let's change. Uh, you seem personable. Can't imagine how you didn't get on she with her. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, let's change the subject. What is it? That's it. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, yeah, we uh, actually leveled up, didn't we? So let's go ahead and put this into leadership again. I have nine, so or ten now, so let's do five here and five into ranged. There we go. Uh, companion abilities. You can command your companion to use special abilities on the enemy you are targeting. Oh, cool. So C is for first companion and V is for the second. Got it. Tracking. Wait. Inventory. How can I change my outfit? Right there? Yes. I don't want to run around in hibernation stuff. So I got two of... Hold on. There we go. I mean, now I look like a freaking marauder, but... I wonder if that's going to affect my dialogue. You, talk to me. 
If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Well, Whatever your hospitable. Whatever with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? How am I supposed to take these people's power, man? She's a sweetheart. Let me see. You must be Adilande. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. How about Dr. But Green Thumb? Yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Adelaide, there you go. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Wow, okay. Let me see. Looks like you've made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. I don't feel right taking these people's stuff, man. So why did you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. I mean, that makes sense, but I kind of sort of need information so to make an informed decision on this. Because I'm, I'm seriously torn. So let's see, is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. I'm surprised you managed to grow. Uh, I'm surprised you've managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Okay, so Reed actually sent me out here to make to try to make peace with you. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Oh, this is getting interesting. Uh, you're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. I mean, both of these are right. But I think they will offer different results. This one is more aggressive. I think, like, if I tell her this, she's probably going to get pissed off. This seems more reasonable. But the question is, I'm not sure how... I'm not sure of Reed's intentions. Uh, Something about coming back to town or losing power. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> uh, I want to click on that just out of curiosity. But I don't want to mess this up. So I'm going to try to cons uh, to ask... Uh, the, the, this way. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Oh, man. Okay. <sighs> I'm definitely not going to do that. I, I like her. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Uh, I didn't really agree. Okay, so your camp has a power regulator. Maybe she's going to tell me where there's another one. I need to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. 
This is like either way. The even okay, look, this is my reasoning behind it. If I agree to her terms, the other people might be not necessarily the nicest people in the world, but they're still people. And taking power away from them is basically going to screw them over. It's not like they're marauders. They're, they're not criminals or nothing like that. They're hardworking people, albeit they do it in a pretty stupid way. But you know what? These people definitely don't deserve I'll consider it. What do you... Yeah, I got to find out. What do you have against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. It's still a town. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. Damn. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I don't think she's defending them. I think she's just being... Like, I don't know. Let me see. I don't like you throwing that much that in her face to get me on your side i agree that is pretty cold-hearted uh okay this is a good question let's say i help you what happens to edgewater then life in edgewater grinds to a halt the cannery shuts down workers desert in droves and our own little camp grows and thrives You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Yeah, it did seem pretty sinister. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. What do you think about this? Where are we headed? Uh, I noticed you mentioned your dad, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. You mean she's dead? I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Wait a minute, so she was a slave? The contract was for a human being. She was a slave. That's inhumane. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. That's wrong, dude. Okay, yeah, I made my decision. You mean about the mission being too clean? Uh, isn't... Isn't it supposed to be clean? Like a church? It's a church. I know, but... Vicar says the universe is a machine... That it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Uh, whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. Then why do you want to talk to him? That's a good question. The vicar's about the only soul in the veil who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Yeah, I, th I thought that's what the case was. All right, you know what? The whole basically slave thing. She doesn't even realize that it's bad. It's how, how much it happens. This is literally the norm around here. So I made my decision. Slavery, in my eyes, is extremely bad, so fuck that noise. Off to the cannery we go. It's kind of messed up, though, because she legit, legitimately didn't even realize that she was, like, ba basically being used as a bargaining tool, man. Like, they're like, hey, by the way, it's in your contract that if you have a baby, it belongs to the company, basically. Nah, bruh. Goodbye, Spacer's to uh, Choice. Or maybe not even Spacer's Choice, it's just Edgewater, but you know what I mean. 
This game is freaking awesome. I really, I really love this game already. And we're still in the beginning. Oh, wait, this is it right here, isn't it? Oh, shit. Back up slowly. Back up, girl. Come on. That was close. Look at all these freaking morons right here got destroyed. Maybe I can get some ammo. Let's let's uh Got it. Inside voices. Pick up assault rifle. Let's go ahead and take all this stuff so we can break it down later. I'm kind of nervous because I don't want them to see me. I mean, they obviously killed those guys. Ooh, armor parts. Does that mean I can upgrade? Whoa, wait a minute. I wanted to poke around in here. Wait, what am I doing here? What is this for? Oh, this is the geothermal plant. No, thank you. That's not where we're going. We're not about that life, bro. Hold on, are we going the right way? Yep, that's uh, Edgewater right over there. That's a cool little cave. What is that thing? Primal Hunter? Here they come. Oh, fuck. Come here, buddy. Where, where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Right! That's the last of them. Good job. I wonder if she could die. Can your companions die? Last thing I want is for a Fallout 3 dog meat situation. And he dies. So we're in Edgewater. Let's see if we, uh, it's in the cannery, so we got to figure out how to do this. Basically, I made the decision that we're not going, we're going to be, uh, we're basically going to be helping out, uh, at A.D. Leon, or whatever her name is. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Mainly because these people are pretty much slave people. Like, it was, she was a baby, or whatever, and she was a part of a contract. Wish we had some better rations. She technically belongs to the company. But the question is, how do I, how do I do this? Okay, that's the barber shop. Let me see. Hold on. Journal. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. So that's where we actually do have to go to the uh the geothermal plant i feel like i'm pretty much going around in circles at this point so we were at the right place all right uh this way so it's kind of far so we're basically just gonna f get there right now all right guys so we're pretty much here we just have to figure out how to get inside so we can pretty much redirect power we're going to do it to the camp and not to Edgewater. So we're basically going to be screwing over Edgewater in this situation. Only because they like to be slavers. Whoa. Get ready. Oh, crap. Oh my god, this seems... Those things is armor were insane. I still don't got enough ammo for my rifle. Look at all these dead people. Telescoping staff. Energy cells. What is this? Okay. Okay, so I don't have any abilities to hack. Uh-oh. Help me! Right. 
Okay, that thing is down. Where is it? Where is it? Woo! Man, these things are very armored, which makes sense because they're robots, but still. Oh god, there's a robot coming. Where is she at? Cool, I got some parts. Is there another one? Oh, dumb. Pushing the wrong button. Alright. Alrighty. This should be, uh... Oh, it's a vendor. Okay. So I can buy a bunch of cool stuff here. Oh, wow. Look at this stuff. I don't have enough though. Wow. I like it. It's heavy armor though. I'm not sure how much that affects gameplay. Hold on. Can I just go through here? System alert. Go away. Very nice. Hey, get my back, girl, while I do this. Oh, crap. Okay, never mind. Where are you at? I'll help you. Because I have to. Go. Hell yeah, dude. She's a badass. All right. So we're not in combat anymore, so we should be able to log into this computer. Redirect power. Hold on, let me see. When life gives you lemons, consider a free trial from your friends at Spacer's Choice. Okay, redirect power. So what, what did I do? Did I... Is it done? Region. Is that... Is that where we're at? We're at the geothermal plant, right? So I think there's still more stuff that we got to do in here. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Oh, okay. That, that's why. There's more than one switch. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually, that's actually really cute. What's in here? I'll be taking that and that. It's a cool light. What is this? Unlock door. Awesome. Here's that I already had the password. I just don't remember where I got it from. Uh-oh. Go! Oh, God. Is he coming up? He is. Ah! I need your assistance. Holy crap, this thing is tanky. That's the last of them. That thing was super tanky, man. Hell yeah, but now I got a little bit more ammo. I'm like using up all my ammo just doing this mission. That's not optimal. There's two more. What happened to Miss McDevitt's folk? What was that? No. Oh god. Ah. Ring around the rosy. 
So this is definitely more... It's easier. Ah! Awesome. We're gonna keep this for now. Mainly because we're running not low on ammo. You're not real. What the hell? What's going on here? Who said that? That was weird. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Ah! Incoming! Oh, crap. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Ah, I saw that coming. There was two of them, man. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Yep, I noticed. Let's, uh... Alright. Ah! Leave me alone, please. Go away! Alrighty, that's nice. All right, come on, let's go. Wait, is this a switch? There's two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? System sweeping. Get ready. Wait a minute. Am I sending it to the wrong place? Did I pass one? Yeah, Pat. Uh, actually, no, I think this is the second one right here. Whoa. Yeah, focus on her. Everyone all right? It's beginning security. Here they come. Where is he? I don't see him. There he is. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, I'm stuck. Alright, there should be just one more. Let's go melee this dude. Go, die! Awesome sauce. Alright, let's check this out. Man, there's so many areas in this place. Crap. I'm gonna have to go through everything again. Where to go? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Uh, uh, we're literally gonna find out. Go away, Phantom. Let's go see what's up with Higgins. It's telling us we could go, but I want to find out what's going on with Higgins. Wait, what's this? Uh, shut off steam. That works. Whoops. Awesome. How do I get to Higgins though? That's the question. Is he up here? I think we actually do have to find out what's going on with Higgins. Okay, so it's this way. Yeah, this is the way. Oh, this is the button. It's the last. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. Yep. Too late for that. So the question is, do we leave now? Okay, regional. Looks like we still got something going on in here. Or maybe? Or is it telling us to leave? I think it's telling us to leave. Nope. What is this? What's going on in here? Once we do this, oh, this is the no computer. Going. Hey, mister? 
Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Yeah, and I'm not entirely sure what the consequences is, is, is gonna... Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I do too. I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Oh, man, she's making this harder for me. Uh. Reed tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers and power. Okay, yeah. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Yeah, that's true. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? No, not really. <sighs> and Reed. I think, I really do think Reed is trying to be reasonable here. I just don't like Spacer's choice because they basically made her into a slave. But she doesn't even seem to mind. Not that it's, not that it's a good thing. I think she's brainwashed, but... uh. So Reed tells me Edgewater's going to die without workers in power. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Ugh. Oh. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Alright, I'm... So, okay, so I, I gotta say this. Mr. Reed was actually the more reasonable one. And she made a good point about the lady, uh, Miss McDermott, because she was basically just wanted to see the town suffer for no reason, even though there's a lot of good people other than the company there. I, yeah, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just, I felt like I had to say something. Well, I had a change of heart. I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. <sighs> Hold on. So what's the plan from here? Let me see. Journal. So that's a side quest. see and this is a hard choice Okay, so it looks like this is the only way to do it. I have to basically log in here and redirect power. Continue. So redirect power. Crap, this is the choice right here. Uh, it's either... Okay, I'm going to go with Edgewater. Did 
Light us the new code, send the power back to the father. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they didn't care much for me. She's seriously very selfless. I I don't know if I did the right decision. Looks like I gained some reputation with uh, Spacer's Choice too. System that Watch out! Uh oh. You know what? I'm leaving. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, it's up here, I think. Alright, I can't leave her fighting by herself. Melee it is. Woo! Alright, let's see. So I came in from here. What I need to do is find the exit. They're going to hate me in that little settlement. All right, how do I get out of here? All right, so who is that? Oh, he's right there. I want to help this dude. You're not real. You're not real. Oh, there we go. There's stairs right here. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be one of those things where he just goes down by itself. I'm coming, I'm coming. Higgins, what's up? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. I'm not a Phantom. I'm really, it's me. Calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you, dude. You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Well, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. He's bipolar or something. You're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. <laughs> what is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender... Sisty Pig Tycoon? I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. All right, so you were an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Okay, cool. Uh... If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. I can deal with the mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. <laughs> I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Uh, mechanicals follow the behavior of the logic of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. Yeah, I dabble There's a, a behavior bit. Behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Wait a minute. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Awesome. Uh, wh how have you been surviving all this Jimmy time? Jimmy opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Don't tell me he's a cannibal. This place looks like it's been abandoned. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. 
And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Okay, well, thank you. We're gonna just be doing the same thing. Five and then five. I wonder what the max is. I think it said it was 100. All right, but I think you can get them, the robots or whatever, to freaking kill the people of the town. Do I got any perks? I do have a perk. Okay, so... Companion critical hit chances. Go ahead and go with that. All right, so... No, let's... Journal. That's what I was looking for. Let me see. So I haven't botched any quests, so that's good. So where's that? He said that there's something in the other room that I can control those robots, right? Question is, where's that room and how do I control them? Let's see here. It's probably on the way out too. Or maybe over here? I know there's a computer right here, but is this the one that he was talking about? And it's not. Okay, well, I have no idea. I'm pretty sure that that little community is going to freaking fire at me on site. And I kind of feel bad. I'm not going to lie. Is it here? Let me see. So it looks like this is just lore. Whoop. Wrong button. Alright, looks like this is just the top floor. I think we've been through here too, actually. Modify behavior. There we go. Select new mode. Guard mode. Define intruders. Oh my god, dude. I can... Does this mean they can... They're gonna kill each other? I keep pushing the wrong button. Oh well. I don't know. I don't know what I did. So let's just go ahead and go. Run away. But alright guys. We're gonna go ahead and call it an episode right here right now. We made a pretty big decision today. And one that I'm not so comfortable with. But either way you went, it was a very uncomfortable decision regardless. So we ended up siding with Edgewater versus the little community of deserters, quote unquote. Even though I like the deserters, they, I don't know. It just, they seem very negative in their ideologies and stuff. Plus, uh, Parvati actually ha uh, gave her two cents and kind of helped persuade me a little bit. But it is what it is, so... If this is a series you guys are liking, definitely do me a huge favor. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.